Okay, welcome again to Excel Power Tips. And in this video, we're going to learn how to merge like records. And some people would call this deduping or deduplicating a file. I believe it's technically not deduplicating because duplicate records would mean that two records are exactly the same. And a record, by the way, is database speak for a row in Excel. So let's take, for example, this, this person here. By the way, this is all dummy data here not real addresses and names, but uh, this person right here, uh, you can say, let's, let's pretend this is our customer database and we want to find out how much revenue we've gotten from each of our customers over the given year. Well, this person has purchased from us three times, you can see here. Um, so I want to know, I want a, a table that shows me uh, exactly uh, what the total is for this person for Michael Silver, for example. You can tell a few of the other folks here also are duplicated, like this person, Gary Rappaport, uh, and also Edward Kane, for example. All these folks come in more than once. They're, they, they show up more than once in the file, and I want to eliminate that. I want to merge those together. Um, so because these records are not technically duplicate, you know, you can call it deduplication or you can call it merging like records. So how do we do that? Well, I'm going to get right to it and show you how. Um, let's assume we want to make this look exactly like it is now but we want to have these be merged so it shows a single total revenue for each person who's duplicated on here okay like like this person here so we're going to use a pivot table and the way to do that is to highlight the columns in question uh, or you can just highlight the entire worksheet and click on pivot table and just hit ok pretty easy just to get started you can tell it's it opened up in a new worksheet and now I'm going to drag all but the last, the, the actual revenue column, or I should say the revenue field, we actually want to do something different, so we'll do that last. But all the other fields, I'm just going to uh, drag them, you can see one at a time over here on the right, I'm dragging them down uh, into this uh, row labels little box here. And uh, I'm not going to explain exactly what all this means, just kind of get used to uh, doing it this way and then you can kind of explore pivot tables a little bit more. Pivot tables are one of those things that people do not use enough. They really are, are great. Um, so I've, I've copied all these, I've, I should say I've dragged all these uh, into this uh, row labels box. Now for current revenue I'm going to pull that right over here into the values box. Okay. Now we need to clean up this table. It looks kind of messy over here on the left so let's clean this up. First thing I want to do, what we want to do is make it look like the other, this other worksheet over here. Now I'm going to rename this worksheet deduped because this is how it's going to be when it's called dedupe data. Okay. Now pivot table, this is still a live table, meaning it's not. We need to later um, kind of freeze this, but right now it's still interactive and live. First thing I want to do, instead of having it be a count of revenue, I want to actually have it be a sum. So I'm going to right click over here in the in this area. And I'm going to go to Pivot Table Options and Display, and then Classic Pivot Table Layout. Okay, and I'm not going to explain why that is, but let's just do that for now. And now I want to get rid of all these these totals and subtotals here. So I'm just going to each of these totals. I only have to do this once. Uh, I'm going to right click on here, and I'm going to get rid of subtotal first. Right click on here. Subtotal last. I'm just deselecting all of these subtotals. We don't need them. Um, and I'm getting rid of this total right here. And I'm getting rid of this total. So I had to do this a bunch of times. This looks a little bit like a pain, but it's much, much easier. And once you get to know it, it's pretty quick. Much easier than doing it any other way that I've found. Um, also, notice there's a blank down here. I'm going to get rid of that. So I'm going to select this customer ID field here. And from the drop-down list, I'm going to deselect the blank. It's usually it will insert a blank because we selected technically we selected a lot of uh, data that didn't have a lot of uh, records or rows on the previous worksheet that didn't have any data in them. That's why it inserted blank. Okay, that's looking a lot more like the way we want it, but we're not quite done. Um, now, what we also want to do is um, we want to um, convert this over here. So I'm going to right-click on there and go to uh, value field settings and I'm going to convert that to sum okay and notice how now we actually have data um, now for example this Michael Silver uh, right here has it shows his total amount okay 
1447. So that's now merged or kind of uh, grouped his his re his uh, record together, but added together one of those uh, columns. Last thing, let's save this as values. Again, this is still an interactive table. I don't want it to be interactive forever. So I'm going to I'm going to highlight the entire worksheet, Control C for copy. Then I'm going to right click and paste as values, paste special, paste as values. And um, now I just want to clean it up a little bit. So I'm going to I like to have the field headers in the very first uh, row. So I'm, hi I'm highlighting these. You don't have to do this. This is just my pref preference. And I'm going to delete those. And um, I'm also going to get rid of this total down here. I don't need the, the grand total. Um, I also like the columns to be uniform. So I'm going to, actually I want them to fit the length of the, of the text or the values. So I'm just going to highlight them all and double click on one of these rows. And look how nice that looks now. Um, and a little bit more cleaning up. Also, one thing I like to do with almost every uh, type of data file like this, uh, especially worksheets with that are organized like a database, is I like to freeze uh, the panes at the top. I like to freeze the top row so that if you scroll down, it, it, it freezes this part. But again, that's just optional for you. But notice now we have the same total here. Look at this total. Total for all this uh, is uh, 9026. That's $9,026. And let's double check that over here. Same thing, $9,026. So we know there were no errors made. Again, that's an error checking thing we're doing. And we are able to uh, have the, the like records now merged. So pretty easy. Um, go through this video a couple of times and watch carefully, pause it a couple of times and try this yourself and you will have this down pat in no time.